Once upon a time, cricket was a game of experts specialized. Batsmen who could bat for days and bowlers who could tear through a batting order with nothing but raw skills and precision. But now, the era of specialist is fading. All-rounders are becoming cricket's new obsession, and we are losing the experts who once made the game truly remarkable. What a beauty, but she's got to go. Not a bad one to start with. I can understand my getting being uh, disbelieving. Oh, look at the look on that face. Look, 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 and look again. Well, all-rounders are everywhere today. Players who are good at both batting and bowling, but here's the problem. In trying to do everything, they often master nothing. A jack of all trades may be valuable in today's fast-paced cricket, but let's face it, they're not the artist of the game, and cricket used to be about the artistry. Look at the shift. In the 2000s, most teams had only one or two all-rounders in their lineup. Today, some teams filled up four to five all-rounders in a single match. What is the impact? Specialist bowlers like Glenn McGraw or Wazim Akram, who could win a game on their own, are becoming more and more rarer. Got him! So back. Well, on the batting side, the trend is not different. Players like Rahul Dravid or Jack Callis, who were built to bat for hours, soaking up pressure, are being replaced by batsmen who can bowl a few overs, but are expected to hit big sixes from the ball one. The patience and craft of pure batting, that's slowly fading. Oh, there you go. Up on the arm. T20 cricket has accelerated this shift. All-rounders are seen as the perfect solutions, Some, someone who can fill in when, wherever the team needs them, and in a format that only lasts 3 hours. This makes sense, but the real question is, is this good for the game, or are we losing something important? Well, all-rounders bring balance to the side, no doubt, but in trying to create versatile players, teams are sacrificing true mastery. A player who can bowl and bat might give you flexibility, but they are unlikely to be as effective as a pure batsman or a pure bowler. Oh, go on! This one coming back in as well. Bhuvaneshwar Kumar. Well, there you go again. Teams do not realize they are losing out on quality in exchange for quantity. Well, the data tells you, tells the story. Over the past decade, the average overs bowled by frontline bowlers has dropped by 15%, while the batting averages of top all-rounders rarely match those of specialist batsmen. What's happening is that players are being asked to do more, but achieving less. In trying to cover all bases, teams are weakening the very core of their game. While we used to see specialists single-handedly win games, think of Shane Vaughan spinning Australia to victory or Rahul Dravid batting for two days to save a test match. These moments declined or defined cricket, but now players are being told to be multi-dimensional and in the process, we are losing the magic of those rare game-changing experts. What a beauty, but she's got to go. Not a bad one to start with. I can understand my getting... All-rounders give team flexibility, but at what cost? What we are losing is the sheer brilliance of players who have dedicated their entire careers to mastering one aspect of the game. The bowlers who could control the game with a single spell, or the batsmen who could stand tall under immense pressure for hours, that's becoming a thing of the past. Cricket is changing and so are its players. The days of specialists slash experts are disappearing, replaced by a raw breed of all-rounders who can do everything, but maybe not everything well. In the pursuit of versatility, we may be losing the real beauty of cricket, mastery. And once that's gone, what is left? Once an anomaly, today a well-executed strategy. What is the science behind reverse swing? Without bowlers who live to take wickets or batsmen who value their time at the crease, the game risks losing its heart. The question now is, 
can cricket survive without it without its true specialist or will the sport become a shadow of what it once was thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one until then peace